I made a video about stepping out of your comfort zone, putting yourself back out there and opening yourself back up for love. Is pain inevitable? Yes. Uh, can you handle it and will you survive? Yes. It's still worth it. And this person says, I have to disagree with you. When you see a huge red flags up front and you ignore them, you're setting yourself up for getting hurt. I agree with you. We're not conflicting. But what you have to understand, friend, is that red flags are different for everybody. So someone who's been in an abusive relationship in the past, emotionally abusive, yelling partner, will not feel safe with somebody who maybe is loud and rough around the edges, okay? To, to them, that might be a red flag. To me, they'd be like, hey, that's fine, let's go. I'm not saying that you should give everybody a chance even if you see red flags. No, not at all. I'm just saying open your heart and give people a chance. If they're red flags, move on, but look for the green flags. Keep your eye open for the green flags. Don't just look for the red flags. Look for the green flags too. We're so freaking afraid of getting hurt that all we're focusing on is the red flags. We're just sitting down interviewing everybody and trying to figure out what is their mental illness <laughs> and can I handle it? Instead of simultaneously thinking, what are their superpowers? What are they great at? What do they bring to the table? But there's absolutely no way of even finding the red flags if you don't open up your heart and give people a chance and get over that fear that you might get hurt. Just be careful not to live in fear of everybody because one, two, or even three people hurt you. I mean, one dog bit you once. Does that mean that all dogs are bad? No. You just got to be cautious and not ruled by fear. And just go in it with your eyes wide open, with an open heart. Good luck.